So you're looking into project management tools and you wanna know what the right one for your business is. Well, over the last three years, I've consulted with over 300 businesses to help them choose and automate the right software in their business. And so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the best project management tools that you should use and which ones you should avoid based on the needs of your business. But really quickly, before we dive into the platforms themselves, I want you to consider these three key things to help you evaluate the software as we go along. Number one, how complex are your projects? Do you care about estimates versus actuals and burn downs? Do you care about forecasting and capacity planning? Or do you have more basic needs around project and task management? Number two is, are you addressing the needs of all the stakeholders? So for example, if you're in charge of the projects team, you also want to bear in mind what executives need. Maybe they have certain kinds of reporting that they're looking for. But likewise, I've worked with lots of small business owners and sometimes they're choosing a platform platform based on their needs. And if you're not actually taking into consideration the usability and the opinions of the people who are boots on the ground, then you're going to run into adoption issues. And you might even have a third group, which are your clients. And so they want to keep track of the statuses of projects and tasks. So as you go about choosing software, you'll have to keep the needs of each of these groups in mind. And the third thing is how unique is your workflow? Some PMOs have a very rigid structure that needs to be abided by. Other companies are growing and adding processes in flight. So whether you need a tool that works out of the box exactly as the way you'd expect versus you want a tool that can modify and be changed and grow with you, those are two very different things. Now, if I knew nothing else about your business except that you wanted a tool that was easy to use and easy to set up, then I'd recommend Asana. Now, the reason for this is that Asana is a little bit more opinionated than some of the other work management tools. So here's an example. In Asana, a task can only have a single assignee. You can't have multiple people assigned to the same task. Most other systems will say, hey, do whatever you want. But Asana says, no, a task should have a single assignee because one person should be responsible that this task will get done. So by having some more opinionated logic, that means Asana is prescribing the way that things should be done. And that means it's generally much easier to get up and running with your team. You also won't feel as overwhelmed by a million features. Its goal is really to help you do basic project and task management. Now on the flip side of this, it hasn't evolved as quickly as other work management systems like ClickUp and Monday. It's still a work management system. It has automations and forms, but it doesn't have a lot of the extra bells and whistles. That being said, a good project management system doesn't necessarily need all of those additional features. You might not use half of them anyways. But even though Asana is very easy to use, it still doesn't come with all of the core project management features. So for example, time tracking. You can do time tracking natively in Asana, but if you want time sheets, an easy way to be able to enter data throughout your week, then that doesn't come natively in the system. Now, if you're looking for something even easier than Asana, I'd recommend taking a look at Trello. We're not gonna cover Trello in this video because it's not one of the more robust tools at managing projects, but it is an option if you're saying, ugh, Asana's still a little too much and I just need some basic task management. One of the things I like about Asana is that everything is really contextualized around project management. So while you don't have the craziest dashboard features, they have a really nice portfolio management view where you can see the status of the projects that you're working on. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum is ClickUp. ClickUp is the platform that has all of those extra bells and whistles. You're getting tons of extra features beyond just core project management. You've got whiteboards, mind maps, video clips, an AI powered brain for managing all your documentation. And it's all baked into one platform. But even if you don't use a fraction of those kind of extra features, they do really well for solid project management. If you need to do resource management, track goals, enter timesheets, and use really powerful dashboards, it can help you out there. I also think ClickUp is one of the best solutions if you run an agency. ClickUp is great for client work because you can easily track billings and you can give guest access as well. ClickUp is not without its faults. Architecturally, it's less of a database and it's more of this list and task kind of model, which makes some of these things harder to relate and interact with one another than if you used a different system. The biggest complaints about ClickUp are around performance. It can often feel leggy and buggy as you operate the application. And because there are so many features, some which you may or may not use, it can be hard to get set up. And there's so many different options on the screen, how do you know where to go? So overall, ClickUp gives you the best project management features, but with a higher learning curve. Notion is an amazing tool for knowledge management and documentation. If you wanna create SOPs and internal wikis, it doesn't get any better. Coincidentally, it gets used a lot for project management because you have all of these knowledge workers who are like, hey, we're already using this tool. 
It's got some PM features. We've got some Gantt charts and we can create dependencies and things like this. And so it gets turned into a project management system on top of all the knowledge work that's already there. However, it's not really gonna feel like a project management tool by itself. If you want to build a robust project management tool, it's going to take a lot more setup work than if you use one of the other tools we've talked about. Even their recommended templates are really simplistic. Or even if you use AI, most of the time it's just creating a single table or a single database. You just get projects or you get tasks. It's certainly possible to link them together, but the fact that that is not the default in the system says a lot about their positioning. I can't say I'd recommend Notion outright as your only project management tool. I'd typically recommend that you use Notion to augment what you're doing someplace else. Or if you're already using Notion and you just need it for some light task management, that can work too. The main group that can benefit from Notion the most as a project management tool is if your group is very copy or text heavy. So for example, I worked with a video editing agency and we were constantly collaborating on different scripts. Because the script was the task and tasks are really pages, it worked because it's all very page-based in Notion. Out of all the tools that we're talking about, Airtable is closest to a box of Legos. You can build essentially anything that you want, but it doesn't really come with the instructions. Instead of ClickUp's list and task architecture, Airtable is database first by design. You can create different tables that you need from customer to projects, tasks, invoices, and have all of these tables reference and link data to and from one another. It does include workload capacity and Gantt views, so you do get a lot of built-in project management. But a lot of other features aren't included natively and require some unique workarounds. For example, there's no concept of a subtask. You can use their list view, which is kind of like Notion, to create something that operates like a subtask, but there's no concept natively. And for recurring tasks, you can build your own automation to get kind of the same effect, but it doesn't work that way out of the box. I think one of the biggest flaws is that there's no unified way of looking at all of my own tasks. Yes, we can technically sync together tables from different bases that we've created, but it's still not as nice as just clicking a button and looking at all of my tasks. Now, Airtable does have some rich text fields but it's really not the same. So I'd probably recommend pairing Airtable with Notion. Now it might sound like I'm pretty down on Airtable because it's missing a lot of these native project management features. But honestly, if you're trying to build a business management system, maybe you have some light CRM functionality and then you've got project management and then you want it to generate invoices automatically, you get so much functionality with Airtable that you don't with other systems. And this brings me to Monday.com. Monday feels a little bit like a hybrid with Airtable relational database and ClickUp's more project management, work management features. You don't get all of the bells and whistles that you'd get with ClickUp, but it's typically a little bit easier to learn and set up. But Monday has a different philosophy when it comes to their product segmentation. Whereas with Airtable and ClickUp, they're both kind of like, yeah, build whatever you want. Monday has a separate platform for their work OS, which is their project management functionality, and then a separate one for their CRM functionality, and then dev and service as well. Now, in my opinion, the CRM isn't really strong enough to stand on its own. And so the direction to split these all up seems a little bit premature, but I can see where they're heading. So if you're planning on building this multifaceted system, it might not work as well on Monday as say Airtable because they're splitting off pieces of their functionality. You want the really good email syncing? Well, then you have to buy the CRM. So in general, I think of Monday as a pretty good middle of the road option. Now, before we get into pricing and our final recommendations, come and check out our website at softwarefinds.com where we have reviews, analysis, and most importantly, tools and charts that we've built to help you find the right software for your business. Now for pricing, ClickUp's free plan is surprisingly generous. Yes, you get unlimited projects, unlimited tasks, but not only that, you get unlimited free users. But just as a reminder, they're of course going to try to push you into the paid plans. So if you have a lot of free users, that price is going to add up. Their pricing plan starts at $7 per user and their business plan is at $12. Now, despite their $7 plan being called unlimited, it is not truly unlimited. So make sure you take a look at the actual caveats. With Asana, their free plan is really solid as well unlimited projects, unlimited tasks, and you get up to 10 users. Their starter plan is at $11 per user, and it's going to give you more advanced views, customization with things like custom fields. Their $25 plan will get you more advanced features like time tracking and approvals. Notion's pricing is a little unique, especially because typically with project management, you're talking about having a team of multiple 
multiple users. Notion has a very generous free plan if you're a solo user, but if you're planning on using it with a team, then they impose a limit of a thousand blocks. Now blocks in Notion are just about any kind of content, be it a page or a database. So you're going to chew through those thousand blocks very quickly. And once you've hit that limit of a thousand blocks, you can't just delete them and start over again. You're going to be forced to upgrade. So if you are planning on using this for project management, just plan from the beginning that you'll have to pay for it. The nice part is that when you upgrade, you can do so for $10 per user per month and get most of the project management functionality that you need. Airtable imposes similar limitations on its free plan. You can only have a total of a thousand records. Well, a record can be anything from a project to a customer to a task. So across all of those, you only get a thousand of them before you're forced to upgrade. Airtable's paid plans are considerably more expensive than the other options options we've discussed, with their intro team plan starting at $20 per user. A note of caution about Airtable is how heavily they're pushing towards the business and enterprise scale plans. So you can get by on their team plan, but they're really not releasing many new features on their lowest paid plan. Monday.com has what I would consider the most restrictive of the pricing options. Their free plan is only good for two users, three docs, and three boards. And when it comes to their paid plans, while you can start at $12 per user per month, you have to buy in certain increments of users. You can't just buy a single user. So at a minimum, you have to purchase three licenses. At $12, that's $36 per month at a minimum. On top of it all, there are many features such as formulas and charts that don't even unlock until you're on their pro plan at $19 per user. And with that three license minimum, that's a minimum of $57 per month. But the worst part for project management is that resource management and portfolio management features don't even open up until enterprise. If you're looking for a great free plan that's easy to use and easy to set up, and you're okay that it doesn't have all of the other bells and whistles, then Asana is going to be your best choice. The tool that gets the most buzz and has the best project management features is ClickUp. If you do any kind of agency work, I definitely think you'll enjoy the features that ClickUp has to offer. But if you're turned off by feature bloat and lagging performance, then you might not want to use ClickUp. Notion, I wouldn't recommend that most companies purchase it as their standalone project management tool. If you already have Notion for documents, then it might make sense to use it for lightweight project management. Or if your agency is heavily copy or text focused, then it might make sense as well. Airtable feels a little bit unique in how they handle some project management functionality. But if you're looking to build your own custom system with your own custom processes, then you really can't beat Airtable. Monday is a decent mix of the other systems that we've talked about, but they restrict a lot of their project management functionality to their enterprise plan. So if you're a small business hesitant about the way they do their user licensing, then I'd find a different option. But if your business doesn't have a CRM setup, that's definitely one of the next systems I'd prioritize. Check out this video where I've gone through over a hundred CRMs to pick out the best ones so that you don't have to waste the time testing them all. I'm going to show you the right ones for you. I'll see you over there.